up on flame, I just switched the lanes Damn, he did it again, I just flipped the pain Stripping and dipping and bass, slab on everything Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming I put my low racks on it, I ain't skip past losses I had to get back on Hey beauties, it's your girl Diva for the Lotus tutorial. This look was definitely inspired by Beats by Deb. I will leave her Instagram down in the description bar below. For all my new subscribers, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to know the next time I upload. And for my returning subscribers, y'all know how we get down. So let's get into this tutorial. Alright y'all, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and carve out those eyebrows. Today I'm using the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the color Chocolate Mousse. This is their darkest shade and the pencils I believe run about $5 and these are absolutely the bomb. Alright y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and clean up our brows and to do that I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Medium Beige. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my foundation to clean up the top of my brows. This helps alleviate the problem of blending the, the concealer in your foundation later on when it's time to do your foundation. Alright y'all, so now I'm going to go ahead and take my Real Techniques brush in 308 to blend out that foundation and that concealer. Now we're taking our P. Louise base in room number two, and we're just gonna go ahead and pack that on our lid. And the trick to make this base most effective is to pat, 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 pat. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna go ahead and take that brown color that we use as our transition shade, and we're gonna pack that right into and above our crease. And you wanna pack your shades in before you blend them out, just to give you the most effect of those colors. Now we're gonna take that purple shade and we're gonna put it right on top of our transition color, and we're gonna blend those two shades together seamlessly. So now we're going to take our P. Louise base in 0.5, we're going to put a little bit on our lid and look up. That is going to indicate to us where our crease should be, but for me, since I have plenty eyes, I usually go a little bit above that point. So now we're gonna take those two shades from Juvia's Place's Nubian Mini Palette and we're gonna go ahead and pack those right onto our lid. And you're gonna make sure that you pack it seamlessly so that the blend is effortless.
look did not seem complete to me so I went ahead and took some white eyeshadow out of the Red and Wild 40 palette and mixed it with a P. Louise base just to make a lighter. So now to go ahead and complete this eye look, we're going to go pop on some dramatic glasses friendly lashes, y'all. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Hydration Infused Serum and just to use that as my primer along with my MAC Foundation in NC47. Alright y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and highlight and contour it. And for my highlight, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Medium Beige. Just because I wanted my highlight to be a little bit more popping today. And for my contour, we're going to use the Black Radiance Contour Palette in Medium to Dark. So now I'm just taking that beauty blender that I blended out my foundation with just to go back over my whole face and to make sure everything is flawless and I don't have any flashback. Alright y'all, I want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to this video and my channel. And I will see you beauties in the next video. Bye!